Football fans, welcome back inside the set of Gridiron Glory. I'm your host, Keith Turner, alongside SEOEL reporter Brad Friedman and TVC Ohio reporter Mark Doner as we're going to discuss this huge game of the week matchup between the Jackson Ironmen and the Athens Bulldogs. So, Brad, let's just kick it off with saying... What a huge game. Uh, we got a good one on our hands, Keith. Now, we know it's going to be difficult for Jackson to stop that high-flying Athens offense. And as a matter of fact, most teams can only hope to contain Joe Burrow in that high-flying offense. So that's why it's going to be important for sophomore signal caller Hunter Sexton to put the Ironmen up early because, Mark, as we know, it's very difficult to beat Athens when you're playing from behind. You got that one right, Brad. Last year, the Ironmen were able to jump ahead on the Bulldogs. But Joe Burrow, then a sophomore, led his team down for, with, for two touchdowns in the 21-14 win. This year, expect the Bulldogs to jump ahead quick as they're averaging more than 52 points per game. And Keith, they're gaining six, 464 yards per game on offense. So we know that offense can definitely play Joe Burrow, Trey Williams. But Brad, what can the Ironman do to slow him down? Well, as you mentioned, Joe Burrow and Trey Williams are serious threats. Though so it's going to come down to making them one-dimensional. Making them one-dimensional will lead to short drives, and Joe Burrow has been known to throw a few picks when he gets flustered. And look for junior middle linebacker Reagan Williams to lead that swarming Jackson defense and make life hard for Burrow in that offense. There's no doubt about that, Brad. Last year, the Ironman forced Burrow into throwing two interceptions, but this year, that Athens team is brand new. There's no question that that offense will be able to score. Everyone knows about jo Joe Burrow, but what about Trey Williams at the running back slot and the wide receiver, Ryan Lerman, who's six foot five inches. Big Williams man. averaging 119 yards per game on the ground, and Lerman has seven catches and 197 yards and four touchdowns in his last two games. Dude. So, Mark, everyone knows about, they've been preaching, that Athens offense, but those Bulldogs can play a little defense. Too. Keith, their defense is being talked about across Southeast Ohio. Last year they were allowing 40 points per game through their first three games. This year a mere 9 points per game through three. They have not allowed more than 300 total yards in any game this season. Keith, look out for that Bulldog defense. I'll be on the lookout for that Bulldog defense before the Ironman. For them, they're just really trying to slow down the loud barking from the Bulldogs. Hey, Keith, you know, you got to give a little love for that Jackson offense. In the first two games of the year, they put up at least 50 points, and that's partly because of Coach Andy Hall's new offensive scheme, high pace, no huddle, leaving defenses on their heels. But hey, they can play a little bit of traditional football. It's Gabe Griffiths toting the rock. He's not afraid to lower the shoulder and hurt a few defenders, and Keith, you know, I'd be expecting a few bumps and bruises after this game on Friday. A few bumps and bruises, I'm sure, but Basil Rutterfield will be the sight to see. Jackson, Athens, what a great game of the week. Thanks, guys. So, fans, we need you to tweet your predictions. Are you choosing Jackson or are you going with Athens? Tweet us at GridironGlory and use the hashtag TheGlory13 and your tweet could just air on our next show. And, of course, join us on Friday night at 1130 for highlights of this great game plus much, much more. Until then, I'm Keith Turner alongside Brad Freeman and Mark Donor reminding you there's nothing better than Friday nights in Gridiron Glory.